Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. I hope you guys can hear me over the sound of the chopper! Because it's actually pretty loud, like even just coming in through these little Philips speakers here, it's pretty damn loud. <laughs> but welcome back to Let's Play some more Half-Life Opposing Force. In the last episode, we finally figured out that, that whole puzzle thing that was plaguing us. And now we've got a new issue, because that chopper outside, I'm pretty sure, wants to totally destroy my life, so we're gonna take matters into our own hands. And now it's gone, apparently? Where the hell did that thing go? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Let's take it in! Oh, God! Okay, we need to be careful. I'm not trying to die right now, as we only have 39 health. Come on, come on, baby! Yeah! Did we get him? Where'd he go? Is he gonna blow up or what? No? He is not done yet. Oh, boy. Well, come up here, then. Come on, baby! Oh, yeah! I got you, baby! Do not mess with the Marines! <laughs> we are in the Marines, right? Because that was, that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of fucked up if I'm sitting here hyping up one set of the armed forces when that is not in fact the one that we were supposed to be doing that for. But hey, whatever. We 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 did it. You know. I think the most satisfying part of that was hearing just the 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 you know the crashing of the debris down there, knowing that there's no possible way that it can slice our throat and kill us. So that's always a good sign. I can't take any of that. Well, I really hope that nothing weird goes on in this episode, because now that I got this whole this whole uh, concept of uh, there's something weird going on in my office, and I think it may possibly be haunted, uh, I mean, if anything happens, then you guys will be the first to know. It's either that or this will never be posted, because I will just freak the fuck out so bad that I'll die. But I don't think that's going to be the case, because I don't know if anybody... Has anybody really ever been, like physically scared to death. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's ever happened that I know of at least. Okay, so we need to get over Oh, we need to get over here. How are we going to get over there? I need that med kit like now. I mean, 39 health isn't the worst thing, but can we like shoot this box out? No. All right. Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't the not a big waste of ammo when you only got um, you know, 260 rounds to go. So, okay, there's nowhere for us to use our cool little little thing here. Can we eat this guy's body? Let me have it! Oh, bummer. Okay, well, I mean, it was worth a try. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I should have known. But yeah, dude, that, that whole thing was weird. I mean, ever, it didn't didn't help that I went and watched, you know, two hours worth of, uh, of ghost adventures earlier this evening. So, you know, that probably wasn't my my greatest thing that I have done to this point, but, you know, that's just, uh, I, I'm, I'm so intrigued by that shit, like, I can't help it, and if that's gonna make this room more, you know, more likely to have shit go on in it, then whatever. I mean, I don't know what's in these boxes, but it does not look entertaining at all, whatever's in there. I mean, at least make it look good, for fuck's sakes. I'm really glad that there are more rockets there, because I got a feeling that we're gonna need those. And I also have a feeling that now Mr. Shepard's going to be able to do some some uh, non-military trained tightrope walking. Hey, look at that. I was right. Cool. I mean, this is something he could certainly write home about. Today, I went and turned off the grid and I did tightrope walking. And I didn't die. <laughs> he actually made it across on his first attempt. That shit would have not happened for me. I would have totally fallen off and I would have snapped my neck on that tire. It would have absolutely gone down that exact way. So I am glad this is not actually me. <laughs> because if you die in the game, then you die for real. Oh, good. Parking garage. That, that just has all sorts of good times written down on it now, doesn't it? I see med kits, though. That's a really good sign. Let's just hope there's no other bullshit going on here. Some guy wrecked. You know, that's... Oh. Hey, I see you. You're not hiding from me. I... Okay, so there's one. Is there more? Aha! There is more. I don't even know if I'm hitting him, actually. But I've got an idea. How's about we give you one of these? 
Oh, 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 oh. oh, stop moving, you little... Stop moving, you little twat. Oh, come on. Yeah! How does it... How does it feel? How does it feel to get shot in the face by someone that you did not know was there? Even though he kind of knew I was there. Oh, boy. Ah, there's another one! I'm not taking this. I do not like you guys at all. Ugh, jeez. They're just... They're everywhere. Like, why here? Why why would they have a post here in this parking garage? <laughs> Set up a perimeter in the parking garage. Just in case he tries to get away. In that lovely, lovely, extra durable SUV. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Okay. And he has an idea. It's backpack bomb time! Oh, man, I have been wanting to do that all day. Whoa! Jeez, I underestimate their jumping distance a lot. There we go. So, I found out about this, and I really hope to... I hope to every incantation of God that this is fake. Okay, maybe not every one of them. Just the, the version that I'm down with um, that this is fake, because it is so stupid. I mean, it is not... It is not the, the, the good idea... Blow up! That was actually really convenient, because I only had one bullet left. <laughs> Could have been potentially bad in any other way that we look at that. No, you don't. <laughs> Just to be sure. Uh, we need to not be using... We need to not use that. I got a feeling that gun's gonna come in handy at some point. But, we can do this! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, he freaks me out, and so I shoot him in the face. Good thing he wasn't on my team, because that would have been a pretty shitty way to die. Okay. So, yeah, dude, I really hope that this, uh, this ends up being fake. And, in all likelihood, it totally... Wow. Well, that was pretty serious. <laughs> he got us pretty bad. And we're all the way back here again. That's, that's lovely. But I really hope this ends up being fake, because it's so stupid. Like, I get it. There's, there's some sort of thing to be said about everything that's, you know, r old, that can be considered retro and cool, is trying to make a comeback right now, but they really need to kind of put a limit on that, because it's getting a little ridiculous now, and I, I my case and point lies with this. It, it really does. So with this, apparently, it's the new, the new style for men, because, you know, we, we really need more fucking stupid ideas for style, is taking old recycled, um, old recycled, um, like crocheted, or like crocheted blankets, like those, those old vintage things that just look older than sin. Like, my grandma has like four of them, it's just those, those blankets that were like all woven together that, they, they have like those really awkward colored, like, poopy mustard, uh, like, woven floral patterns on them. You know exactly the ones I'm talking about. They're just like those little, 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 little tiny throw blankets. They're not very big, but, you know, they're comfortable and whatever. And, uh, apparently the new idea, because we really had to have that as an idea, is to, uh... Oh! Okay. We really needed to make those into shorts. People are making those into shorts, and the picture that I saw of it couldn't have made me less you know, inclined to want to be a part of that whole movement, because, like, the two guys that were wearing them, they, they just looked so damn uncomfortable, like, the things were way too small to begin with, that was a really well-placed <laughs> uh, backpack bomb. Like, is there actually, like, a real coined term for what those bombs are in those bags? Because I can't in all likelihood imagine that the term coined by the, the armed forces are backpack bombs. They usually have pretty cool names for those, and I can't imagine that. Sorry about that. I just uh, just had to get interrupted by the Java updater. So, yeah, you know, fucking cool. Right when I'm in the middle of talking about something, it's just like, oh, you need to update your Java client right the fuck now. We just, we we knew that you just couldn't wait to upgrade our, our just beautiful software because it couldn't wait till later when you weren't doing anything. Um, but yeah, I, I can't imagine for life of me that they don't have an actual term for that other than backpack bomb. 
Oh, tight. It's an interesting way to get out of here, but I'm going to take it. Hey, you're alive! You're another now, human now being that's alive. I'll tell you a secret. I've been hiding up here listening. These black ops have some sort of bomb. I think they're planning on blowing up the base. Now, now why do you think they would do such a thing? Because they're assholes? I don't know. <laughs> These guys haven't really given me any sort of uh, any sort of reasoning to not think that they're assholes, so why not? But yeah, dude, that's the new idea. They're gonna take those old ass blankets and they're gonna turn them into shorts. And like they looked so awkward. Like the like they looked like sixties bas like sixties NBA basketball shorts in length. Like those things were just suffocating the junk and the thighs and just everything. And it was ah! It truly looked like a horrible idea, but unfortunately, now we're going to get, like, every hipster person in the world thinking that that's just, oh, I've, I've got to do that because no one else is going to do it. I'm going to make it cool before it gets cool, and then I'm going to gloat to everyone saying that I liked it before it was cool. And I hope that's not the case because I just, uh, we already have enough stupid ideas for style, like, I was watching, uh, hey, more of these little guys, cool. I was watching, um, like, the, uh, MTV Storytellers thing, and they did it for Ed Sheeran, which Ed Sheeran is fucking awesome, like, I'm, I'm not really big on a lot of, like, current music right now, just because a lot of it, in my opinion, is just total shit, Are you but... Crazy? I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. What bomb? This one? I don't know where the bomb is. How's about if I knew where it was, I would totally... Ah, here we go. I would totally come help you. Um, but I was watching the little storyteller's thing on him, and he was in Ireland. This whole facility is oh, fuck. Okay. You just keep your eyes just okay, we're just gonna snipe these guys from afar, because they're totally giving me the opportunity. Perfect. How about that? Oh! Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. Okay. We just need to go disarm the bad boy. Ugh. Man, if all bombs were that easy to turn off, man, we wouldn't even need, like, full-on bomb squads. You could just have any guy go and walk up to it. I was watching uh, State of Affairs earlier tonight, which actually is surprisingly a good show. Um, where they were going into this building, and there were, like, seven backpack bombs, essentially, actually. And the guy walks in there, and, you know, he disarms the first one, no big deal. And he goes to start to uh, to undo the second one, and as soon as he unzips the backpack, the whole fucking building just goes up into a giant pile of flames. It was pretty wild. ...through the level 4 storage unit, but it's a mess down there. The Black Ops were using it as a staging point until the aliens came in. If you do make it through, make sure you have them come back for us. Okay. I will make sure of that, because you were actually up front with me for a change and told me something useful, so thanks. I will... Wait a minute. Is that guy setting the bomb back up? He is. That's exactly what he's doing. Hold on a minute. Can I go back out? I want to go back out there. If that guy's still setting that damn thing up, I'm going to... Oh, I can't. That little jizz ball. He's like, oh, I'll let him disarm it because I'm just going to go back out there and do it again. So, you know what? Fuck that guy. But yeah, so back to the, back to the little story here. So... Uh, I'm watching it, and he's in Ireland. And, uh, dude, the guy's just really fucking good. Like, that's the only thing I can say about that. But, like, seeing some of the styles that people had, because there were, a, it was a pretty diverse group of people. And, uh, there were, like, I, th I think the one that really gets me the most were the, the girls, the, uh, the girls that, for whatever reason, felt the need. What the hell's going on? Oh, boy. Ah! They're like, ah! God, it's getting crazy in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. There's so many people. Where are all these people coming from? This is insanity. Jeez. Holy smokes. They weren't kidding when they said worlds collide. My god in heaven. Um, But there were like these girls that had like they had like half of their head shaved and then the other side of it was just like regular regular length long hair and I think that just looks fucking stupid and unfortunately you see it in way more places than you should that's the part that's upsetting is like 
I've seen that style everywhere. Or not really everywhere, but in a lot of places. Come on, baby, come on. No. Yeah, that guy's gotta die. These, I mean, all these guys have to... What the fuck was that? How are these people... Time. How are these people all jumping so damn high? Like... Uh. You know what? No, no, no. You guys stay in... Stay in one place so I can kill you. There we go. There's one down. There's one. Yeah, come right here. Just sit right there. Yeah, how about that? Oh, um, how about that? Yeah. You want to fuck around with me some more? No? Okay. Jeez. Man, that was getting pretty wild. There's a lot of people in this room. And there's probably still more of them, but I really need to hope that there's not any more of them. Because I am low on health and these guys are pretty relentless. <laughs> Excuse me, I apologize if that was really loud. I tried to get it as far away from my microphone as possible. No, no. Oh, no! Will not take this crap. You guys are too much right now. Oh, that's a med kit. I need it. No, I need it. I need the kit. That did nothing for me, actually. Okay. Okay, this is trouble. This is big trouble. bullet I had. Totally gonna save my ass. Awesome. Oh, perfect. That couldn't have gone over any better. Crap! Okay. Whew. I was thinking we were gonna have to go through all of that again, but luckily that is not the case. That was... I apologize, that was really loud. Uh, there wasn't a lot I could do about that, but... Kill him! God! <sighs> These guys are just so hard to kill sometimes. Oh, really? Really, you can shoot me, but one time... I guess I only have 13 health. <laughs> That's my own fault. I'm gonna get you. Did I get him? I did not. Man, these guys are really resilient little fuckers. They really are. Oh, no, you don't. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, nowhere. That's where. Jeez. Here we go. Gotta make a run for it. <sighs> I'm sorry, that is just the that is one of the worst sounds. question is now is where the hell am I supposed to go? And I killed both waves of people, but I don't really know where that's supposed to take me. I guess I should have actually looked around and gone over this way instead. Guys, get. 
getting crushed. Unfortunate for him, but not really, because I don't really care about what happens to that guy. Quite the little puzzle here. Oh no! Oh! Who and where? Oh, he was up there, okay. Alright guys, well, this is a really weird place to stop, especially because I have really diminished health, but I cannot take that the sound of those conveyor belts anymore. <laughs> it's just way too much right now. Uh, so when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Half-Life Opposing Force... Whoa, he moved his gun back. That was weird. When we come back on the next episode, we're going to move further through this little storage area and get rid of all these fucking rubber suits because I'm really getting tired of those guys. So, when we come back next time... We're going to have some more fun. But until then, my friends, this is AMF saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.